What if I told you you are not making profits? I see so many small business owners make these pricing mistakes and it's quite painful because you're literally dashing your product out. Now let's break this down together. We've all agreed that we're growing this year, so we need to price our products in a way that enables growth. I am not a financial expert, neither do I work in any financial institution. This video is strictly for small business owners who just need a very simple and easy way to price their products. Pricing strategies differ based on industries, based on brands, based on products. But for the sake of this video, I'm only speaking to small business owners or growing business owners. Here are the two easy steps on pricing your product the right way. If I buy this bottle for 2000 naira in a market, I am sure that you did not trip to that market. You took a cab or any means of transportation. You're going to take your logistics fee, add it to this product. So let's say we're getting 10 of these bottles. If you spend 5000 naira on logistics, you are going to divide 5000 naira by 10 which is 500 naira on each bottle to sell this product you have to subscribe to data to access the internet if you subscribe to data of 5000 naira to sell 10 bottles you divide 5000 naira by 10 that's 500 naira data add every single cost of your packaging to your product so let's say our packaging is 300 naira so let's go back again to calculate what this bottle actually costs to sell 2000 naira for this single bottle 500 naira for transportation, 500 naira for data, and then 300 naira for packaging. There are also other costs that I'll be sharing later. Now your product cost is not 2,000 naira. It is now 3,300. I want to sell this bottle, mm, 3,300. I can mark up this bottle by 50%, which is the next step. You're going to take all the costs that made up this bottle. So let's say what we added up is 4,000 naira. What is 50% of 4,000 naira? That's 2,000 naira. So I'm going to add 4,000 naira and 2,000 naira to get my selling price. We went to the market to just say, oh, this 2,000, I'm going to sell it for 3,000. Can you see that you just ran at a loss? And this is what many business owners are doing. And then later you are trying to check your books. Everything is not balancing. It cannot balance because you did not do the right thing these are the two basic steps i use to price my products but of course and i have a store i have i pay my staff energy bills and all of those things are like fixed costs and there's a way i also calculate that but that is not for this video i'm making this video for people who are just growing you probably don't have a store or even if you have a store there's a way you can still work around it if you learned something from this video please do let me know in the comment section tag somebody share it on your story as you all know, we are not keeping good things to ourselves this year. We're sharing it. We're sharing the goodness. You might just be helping a business owner around you. Share this to your story. Tag your friends. Tag them and run away. Drag them. They've been pricing their product the wrong way. <laughs> Alright guys, see you in my next video. And let me know if you found this video very useful.